Aries, hi. How are you? This is going to be your full moon reading. We have full moon coming up. Of course, a time of lots of emotions, revelations, all that good stuff. We're going to start off with a Moonology Oracle card here. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for being here. Welcome to all my new subscribers. There it is. <clears throat> okay, and before we take a look at that, let's see here. We're going to get your advice card out, okay, early on in the game, but we're not going to look at it until we get to the end, okay? And this will be from the Star Seed Oracle. For Aries, please. What advice do you have for Aries during this full moon and for this reading? What advice do you have for Aries? Okay, so we'll just stick that up there. So, your moonology card a time for healing. Balsamic moon, a time for healing. So some of you might be going through something, um, for some reason I want to use the word incredible, which is <laughs> very odd when we talk about healing, right? <clears throat> okay, but because incredible is typically a positively aspected word, right? But I feel in this case... Um, it could have been something here or, or will be something here that's more of a blessing in disguise for you, Aries. Okay. Let's see what other information Spirit has for you here. Could also just be in experiencing an incredible amount. Why can't I speak right now? An incredible amount <laughs> of emotions during this time. So, Spirit, what do you have for Aries here, please? For this full moon. Release no of any judgment, any bias here. Just your message for Aries. Okay. Chariot cards jumping out. Let's see what else we get. Chariot card is that card of successful movement. Okay, Move, movement. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> movement out of that time. Yeah, there it is. Six of wands. And you have the eight of wands here as well. So definitely some successful movement. Okay, for some of you, this may literally be a move. Okay, a physical move. But I feel like it's more so just the shift in energy that we see in the eight of wands. Yeah, wow. In your overall energy, you have the tower. And this takes me back to that word incredible. Incredible. Okay, something here has been or will be a big shift for you. Underneath the tower, we have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, King of Wands, wow, and the Devil. Capricorn's energy is here as well. But the King of Wands is, is um, where do I want to put this? The King of Wands is that, um, that businessman, that entrepreneur, that go-getter kind of energy, okay? Someone who is very passionate about something and, and goes towards that thing full force, um, without any hesitation okay for some of you this this could be going back to this to the oracle card here and and speaking about um some sort of breakthrough that you are about to have or that you're allowing into your space and into your energy so let's do a little bit of clarification what do i want to clarify with here let's use this deck Uh, and Aries, if this is your message, don't forget to like that, like the video for me, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel here, 
so you can see all of my content, watch your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and otherwise to get a full picture of what's going on for you. Okay. Let's see. I don't want to clarify everything. I don't feel like that's necessary. There's definitely a big shift in energy here. First and foremost, let's look at this tower card. What's this tower card for Aries, please, Spirit? Tell me about the tower card here for Aries. Why are my cards upside down? <laughs> Five of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Hierophant. Wow. Okay, for, for some of you, this is business related. Six of Wands is showing up again here at the bottom of the deck. Um, and I don't know why I feel the need to explain myself, but, you know, although there aren't any typically, you know, we don't see any pentacles on the board. The King of Swords and the Hierophant here are very um, highly respected um, individuals. Okay, let's just put it that way. The King of Wands is as well, and this is your energy here. So for, for some of you, this could be, um, like I said uh, originally with the Tower card here, a breakthrough of some sort, okay? Pushing through to a new um, um, endeavor or to a new level um, within a job, okay? With the Five of Wands there, I feel like this could be speaking about you going back to school as well, Aries. Okay, and learning new things here with the Five of Wands, King of Swords, and the Hierophant. There's definitely something new coming in here for you. King of Swords. Masculine air energy there. Hierophant is Taurus. Okay. Let's see what else. I want to look at this Six of Wands. What's this Six of Wands, please, for Aries? What is this victory that's coming in? What is this victory? It's definitely something that's coming in to change things for you, okay, with the Tower card here. Again, going back to your oracle card, it's time for healing. Um, you know, the tower comes in when we need to change things and we're not too, you know, we may not be too sure that we're ready or we may not be willing to go a certain route. The tower comes in to, to shake up a foundation here. For some of you, this could be re um, relating to religion. Okay, with the hierophant. Spirit, what's this Six of Wands, please, for Aries? We have the Strength card coming out. And the King of Wands again. I, I feel like for a lot of you, this is relating to your, your self-confidence. It's funny. And there's the Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, that, that protective energy. Six of Wands talks about... Um, <clears throat> someone who receives the respect, the accolades um, that they deserve. I'm feeling like uh, even a, a graduation, maybe a graduation of some sort. Okay. Maybe in the works. Yeah. And then we have the world card showing up. Um, but with the King of Wands and Strength card here, it's like um, that energy of, of you know, exuding confidence and, and um, knowledge and just like super duper, um, I don't know what other word to use besides confidence. It's beautiful energy here. And the, uh, again, the Six of Wands represents a victory and it represents someone who receives the recognition that they deserve. Okay. Very nice. A time for healing. All right, let's look at your advice. The Seven Star Sisters, birthing creations, tapestry, tapestry of life and expression. I 
I really feel like whatever this is for you, Aries, that's coming in, again, whether it's a new job or a new position, it really feels like a new um, recognition of some sort. I mean, that could be within a relationship or, or, or um, you know, a friendship, someone realizing your, it, it, yeah, that's what it is, like someone realizing your value, um, you know, after perhaps a time of you feeling like you were not valuable to a company or valuable to a person. Someone did not um, give you the respect that you feel you deserve. I feel like that is changing around here um, for you. This coming week with the new moon, okay? And it's like you, it's, it's like now, you know, you can offer up everything that you've had inside of you that's been brewing, if that makes any sense right? Everything that you've had inside of you, all of these ideas that you've had, all of these things that you've wanted to change, all of these things that you've wanted to point out for such a long time where you feel like your voice what wasn't going to be heard. Now, your advice here is to sh show off. <laughs> That's what I just got. Show off, Aries. <laughs> ah. I love it, you guys. This is your full moon message. If this was your message, don't forget to like the video, share the love, and subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time.